Welcome to Datapolis Workbox, the no-code solution to automate workflows in SharePoint. In this movie I will show you how to design the simplest workflow using Datapolis Workbox. In the first step I will create approval workflow. After that I will explain what I have done. In this movie I will show you how to design the simplest workflow using Datapolis Workbox. In the first step I will create approval workflow. After that I will explain what I have done. Workbox workflow may be associated with SharePoint lists. It is a common and normal concept in SharePoint. So if you want to create a new workflow or open an existing one you should look for the workbox settings icon on the list at a tab on the ribbon. You can choose the name of one of the existing workflows or click Create Workflow. Both options will open Workbox Designer. I have just opened the previously created approval workflow. There are some objects which are essential to understanding the Workbox architecture. The most important objects are called states. States represent phases of a process. In our case we have only one phase so we have only one state. In the most workflow scenarios there will be more than one process state. The next important objects are called actions. Actions represent process flows between states. In our case we have one initial action, another one which represents approval and the last one which represents rejection. There are also two circles in the diagram. The green one represents the beginning of the process and the red one represents the end of the process. On the left side of the designer's window you can find the toolbox with all the necessary tools and objects. To deploy workflow in the SharePoint environment you have to simply click on the deployment icon on the toolbox. After the workflow is deployed it can be used immediately. Participation in the process is a little bit different and more intuitive than in other workflow solutions available on the market. This is the list with the deployed approval process we have created before. Here, I have already created a few approval requests. Some of them are completed and one is still in progress, and awaiting approval. It is in the unapproved state. To approve or reject we need to choose the appropriate action from the standard SharePoint element menu. In our example the request is approved and the workflow is completed.